Hey peeps, Tyler here with my weekly wrap up. Timestamps and books mentioned will be in the description. My pronouns are they, them, or he, him, and let's get started. For what I read this past week, I finished Cast The Origins of Our Discontents by Isabel Wilkerson, which I read via Libby. I gave it four and a half stars, only taking off the half star because of like nitpicks, which I go into more depth about said nitpicks on my Goodreads review if you really want to know, involving like some wording and other nitpicks. Because overall, I found it pretty accessible, well researched, powerful, very important, and I learned a lot from it and I do highly recommend it. About how there's like a caste, not like there, it, it's a caste system in America even though we don't really think of it as such. It also talked about like the Nazi Germany and the caste system in India which I wasn't even aware of which sounds like common knowledge apparently that I just didn't know because I didn't know anything about India and it was hard to read at times because humanity sucks especially America because there were times reading it where it mentioned that Nazi Germany took it's nonfiction took inspiration from the way America was treating black people when slavery was a thing and you know what I'm saying and Nazi Germany took inspiration from America but at some points Nazi Germany actually said America was too harsh. When Nazis think you're too harsh. Welcome to America. Home of the gigantic assholes. Racist. Like I knew Nazi Germany sucked and I knew America sucked. Like I knew that. I didn't know Though that Nazi Germany took inspiration from us and at times thought we were too harsh. That I didn't know. Among other things. So. Yes. And then I read one chapter, because I DNF'd it, of Slumber Party by Christopher Pike. This was meant for a buddy read. And I did read, this is my second book by Christopher Pike, the first one I really enjoyed. It was like the Midnight something, I don't know, but I really enjoyed the first one I read. But this was just not for me. I understand product of its time, but I had so many things in just that first chapter, which was about 30 pages long, alone, that I, I couldn't take. One, it also involved fire. And I tried to read it September 7th, but I was in a, but I was in a house fire September 8th, 2012, so trying to read that the day before the anniversary of it was a dumb idea, but I didn't know there was so much fire in it. But apart from that, there were still other things that I don't want to read the rest of it anyway. Because there's a bunch of body hate, unbelievable, like actually unbelievable girl hate, attempted rape, possibly, whatever that was, tasteless anorexia joke, and just, I, I couldn't. I, like I said, I understand product of its time, but I hated so much in just the first chapter, I'm like, no, fuck it. <gasps> so, 
I DNF'd it. I didn't write it because I only read one chapter. So, like I said, I enjoyed the first book by him that I read. So, I'll definitely check out more at some point. Hopefully. <laughs> and then, I, I didn't read at all for a couple days because on September 8th, I got my second shot of Moderna. And those side effects just came in like a wrecking ball. I had knives, like a hundred knives in my head and then throughout my body, chills and hot and super headache and nauseous and chest pain. I felt like hell for a couple of days. So but I got that around Wednesday afternoon and it's now Saturday evening. I'm feeling much better. I still have a headache, but I always have a headache so I don't know how much if it's just my normal bad headache or if the fact that it's a little worse than normal is because still side effects I don't know but overall I feel a lot better so but my body has never handled vaccines well ever so I'm not surprised but obviously still very glad I got it but I didn't read for a couple days because of that I am currently reading BBC Science Focus, the September 2021 issue, because that's on Kindle Unlimited and that recently came in, so I'm working on that. I'm not sure what I'll pick up next. I have ideas, but we'll see. I don't do TBRs anymore exactly, so. That's why I just mentioned what I'm currently reading, what I'm actually in the middle of. And that's it. For what I bought for audiobooks, I bought several audiobooks because there was like three for two sale or something. I don't know, something like that. And I went nuts. <gasps> Sitting Pretty, The View for My Ordinary Resilient Disabled Body by Rebecca Tossig. I apologize if I'm butchering any names. The Life and Afterlife of Harry Houdini by Joe Posnansky. The Zoologist's Guide to the Galaxy, What Animals on Earth Reveal About Aliens and Ourselves. All the books will be mentioned in the description. The Rise and Fall of Ancient Egypt, The History of a Civilization from 3000 BC to Cleopatra. The Buried in Archaeology of the Egyptian Revolution, The Inner Life of Cats, The Science and Secrets of Our Mysterious Feline Companions, The Lady's Guide to Celestial Mechanics by Olivia Waite, which I have read. It's a historical FF romance fiction. I have that physically, read it, loved it, and it was like Part of that sale thing so I figure I might listen to it as a reread at some point. Blood a Memoir by Alison Moore. When Death Becomes Life Notes from a Transplant Surgeon. 101 Essays That Will Change the Way You Think. The Sirens of Mars Searching for Life on Another World and The Ice at the End of the World, an epic journey into Greenland's buried past and our perilous future. Those are all audiobooks that I now have. For ebooks, which I should be able to show you after I say them, is Tidepool by Nicole Wilson, Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed, Bloom Into You, a Volume 1, Because Internet Understanding the New Rules of Language. And normally I don't mention freebies I get 
because that would be insane or ridiculous but I had to mention this one it was free I don't think it is anymore but I just had to mention it Dithered Hearts by Chase Verity a poly M non-binary Cinderella retelling I saw that and I snatched it Acrylics for the Absolute Beginner by Charles Evans Crystal Therapy, How to Heal and Empower Your Life with Crystal Energy by Doreen Virtue. And Einstein on Politics, His Private Thoughts and Public Stands on Nationalism, Zionism, War, Peace, and the Bomb by Albert Einstein. The ebooks. Apologize for the ring light. And then I do have some physical books here. Not all of them your typical books, but I'm going to show them anyway. Freakery, Cultural Spectacles of the Extraordinary Body. So this, I believe, is some nonfiction about people that used to be, I guess, in freak shows and whatnot. Then, because I couldn't resist, Cute Cat's Farting Coloring Book. It was really cute. How oh, can you say no? Childish? Yes, I don't care. <laughs> the Art of Drawing Optical Illusions. The Chakra Bible by Patricia Mercier. Nonograms for Beginners. I have never done a nonogram. Kakaroo Cross Sums. Also never done this. And Platypus, the extraordinary story of how a curious creature baffled the world. Because I love animals. And platypuses are friggin' weird. I also bought an art kit that's currently like in pieces. So I can't really show it. But I did that so I could have an easel because I have paints. And that has like more brushes and canvases and stuff. I have acrylic paints. So planning and learning how to paint. And I guess that's it for this week. Like, comment, whatever, share, subscribe, hit the bell if you want to. No pressure. Thank you for watching. My social media is in the description. There's an a get an extra month free of Scribd for you and me link in there too. Have a good day, night, evening, wherever you are. And have fun reading or doing whatever you want to do.